Hello and welcome back to another Scratch Fundamental video tutorial. Thanks for tuning in and I hope you enjoy today's activity. Please consider subscribing and hitting the like button. Today we're going to be learning about comments. And for those of you, of you who are not familiar with comments, comments are things that we put on our code to uh, explain what a piece of the code does or a section of the code does. And the reason we do this is because when we work on code and we and we come back eventually to work on it again, let's say you work on it this year and the next year you come back to it, you don't want to spend so much time trying to figure out what you did in it. And, com and comments allow you to understand exactly what you did. And they also help other people software programmers or engineers or people wanting to learn to understand what you did in that code or what that piece of code does and it helps them to better understand and be able to use that or modify it as needed. In Scratch um, the way to add pro uh, comments is very very simple. You right click on something on one of the blocks whichever block you want to comment or let's say you have you want to do the whole uh, the whole routine here you click on the top and you just add the comment and as you can see the uh, there's a line here that connects to this uh, box that kind of looks like a post-it for those of you who are familiar with those posters that they used to use on windows <laughs> and this kind of looks reminds me of that and here uh, you just uh, write what you want to write based on what your logic is. Okay, so basically this is just controlling the pen. So then uh, if you want to hide your comment, you can click here. You can also drag them around, put them wherever you want, if you don't want them to get in the way. So you add as many comments as you need, but make sure they're very descriptive to what your code is doing. And the comments don't only have to be added to the top like I am doing it. You can add them to the bottom or whichever block you want to comment on. So uh, these blocks are all very similar. You can also, if you want, you have the same comment. Uh, I believe you can. Can you copy it? No, nope, it won't let you do it copy. It lets you undo. Clean up the blocks, add block, and delete 28 blocks. Yeah, very simple explanation. Because comments aren't supposed to be very complicated to use. They're just supposed to be there to help you in the future or help others that are developing on your same software or program understand what you did and what your thought. Because the way you code things is the way you think, but not everybody thinks exactly the same way. So therefore, being able to understand what a programmer was thinking or how their logic is at that moment that they were programming helps the person who's coming to, to update this piece of software understand what exactly that software does and find bugs or or uh, be able to uh, add functionality. And for those who are not familiar, bugs are simply uh, errors that happen that are not expected, but sometimes happen because something was coded a certain way and it's not taking care of some sort of case. 
And comments don't affect your code, so they're just there to provide more clarity. So if I click on here, nothing's going to happen to this uh, piece of code. He's, this uh, sprite is still going to do the same thing it used to do. And for those uh, that have not seen my previous videos, this is one of the projects I worked on earlier. It's called Canvas Dog, Doggo. And uh, it's pretty simple, but it helps you understand a few of the concepts and how to use some of the plugins. Go check that out. So thanks very much everybody for watching. I hope you enjoy learning about uh, comments. Please, please, please put your comments out there. They're very, very important. I mean, it doesn't matter what you're doing, whether you're doing Scratch or you're doing Python or C or C++ or JavaScript, whatever you're doing, make sure you add your comments. And adding comments in different languages is slightly different, but it's something that you can Google out there. In Scratch, this is very simple. You just right click and they pop up. Thanks for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed learning about uh, comments. Please go try them out in your projects uh, to make sure that uh, you put your thoughts as you're clear in your as you're doing them. It's easier to do comments when you know what you are doing than to come back later and go, oh, what did I do here? Why did I do that? If you have, if you guys run into any problems or if you have any additional re additional questions, please leave me comments below. And thanks again, and see you guys in the next video. Bye.